क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ प्रॉब्लम नंबर 3 व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन कंटीन्यूअस टाइम सिग्नल्स और यू कैन से बेसिक ऑपरेशंस ऑन कंटीन्यूअस टाइम सिग्नल्स सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन इन प्रॉब्लम नंबर 3 अ सिंपल वन रैंप वेव इज गिवन and it is available between 0 to 1 and what is asked find out first of all x of minus t by 2 here we are going to use two properties as the minus sign is mentioned we are going to use time reversal property and t is divided by 2 which means we will use time scaling property second one here it is mentioned 2 times x of t plus 1 This amplitude is multiplied by two, which means we are going to use amplitude scaling property, and the t is shifted or time shifting property we are going to use because it is shifted by one. In third case, minus of x of two t is mentioned, which means first of all inside this bracket two t is mentioned. That is, we will use time scaling property, and the whole function x is multiplied by minus sin. That is, here we are going to use amplitude scaling property. now we will solve a first part that is x of minus t by 2 so the first part is x of minus t by 2 now here the function is or time is not delayed so you can apply any property at the first so first of all here we have minus t divided by 2 now i am going to use a time scaling property first now here t by 2 means we have alpha value or you can say a scaling factor value which is half half means it is less than 1 and if the alpha value is less than 1 then we are going to expand the graph so here t is divided by 2 which means we will multiply each and every time instance by 2 so first of all x of t is simply nothing but one slope so we will draw that slope first it is available in between 0 to 1 and amplitude is 1 after applying a time scaling property this graph will start from 0 but here the time is divided by 2 which means this 2 is multiplied with each and every instance of time so 0 into 2 is 0 but 1 into 2 is 2 so your graph will start from 0 but it will terminate at 2 so this slope will be decreased now the third part here minus sign is mentioned or time is multiplied by minus sign which means we are going to use time scaling property on it now how to perform or how to apply time scaling property to simply multiply minus sign with each and every available instant of time so 0 is multiplied by minus 1 which means you will get 0 but if 2 is multiplied by minus 1 the new instant is now minus 2 so here the graph which was started at 0 now it will start from minus 2 now here the graph is terminating at 2 now after applying time reversal property this will terminate at 0 but the important one is whenever we are applying time shifting or time scaling property amplitude will never gets change it will remain same so look at here in first case the total overall amplitude is 1 in the second stage is also 1 And in third stage is also same. Now we will move on to next. That is the second part of this question. In second part, this function is advanced by one. Now how you can say that this function is advanced because plus sign is mentioned, or you can say it is shifted to left hand side. But next value is one, which means it will get shifted towards left hand side by one or advanced by one. Now here, this graph. is actually starting at 0 that is from origin but if we apply a time shifting property this graph will start from minus 1 why minus 1 because this graph is shifted to left hand side by 1 this is the value which will tells us by how much value you are going to shift this graph towards right and left so this 0 is now shifted to left hand side by 1 so your graph will start from minus 1 what about next instant it will also get shifted towards left hand side by 1 so as this graph is starting at 0 now this will start from minus 1 and here it is terminated at 1 so now it will terminate at 
0 but amplitude will not get change now I will draw the graph so that you can understand what I said so this is the final result but now next part is amplitude scaling property which means this whole function is now multiplied by 1 so whatever amplitude you have in the last case that amplitude is multiplied by 2 so in the last case the amplitude is 1 so here it will be multiplied by 2 so 2 into 1 becomes 2 so this amplitude will be now doubled but listen whenever we apply amplitude scaling property this time will never change it will remain at its same position so look at these two graph the time sequence or instants are same only the amplitude is changed from 1 to 2 so this is the second part we will move on to third third part of the question what is mentioned minus x of 2t minus means what the whole function is multiplied by minus sign which means the function amplitude is multiplied by minus 1 and here if it is multiplied by minus 1 the whole amplitude is multiplied by minus 1 which means we will use amplitude scaling property after that look at the in here the time is multiplied by 2 which means here we will use time scaling property here the alpha value is greater than 1 so your graph will get compressed by 2 and how to compress this value just divide all the available instance by 2 so first of all I will apply a time scaling property which means all the time instance will be now divided by 2 so start with the 0 if the 0 is divided by 2 answer is 0 and here 1 is divided by 2 so answer is here we use time scaling property so only time will change amplitude will remains same so look at here the whole width of this graph is now half but amplitude is same next part is amplitude scaling property because this function is multiplied by minus n which means all the amplitudes all the available amplitudes present in this graph will be multiplied by minus sign or minus 1 so here we have only single amplitude which is 1 so if this 1 is multiplied by minus 1 the total overall graph amplitude will be in fourth quadrant or we can say that it will be having a minus sign now the amplitude is 1 so after multiplying minus sign your result will be minus 1 this is the result of minus x of 2t so this is all about question number 3 we will study a new numericals or you can say varieties of numerical in next coming videos so for that stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further more videos thank you so much